two countries here that perhaps uh, rub each other up the wrong way, Alan, I think. Yeah, sometimes you get a little bit of aggro, but uh, two teams know each other well, Martin, and normally we do get fireworks, but mainly you look at the talent out there and uh, so much to be excited about. It's a mouth-watering prospect, it really is. Today's match, it's Germany against uh, France. Uh, 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 Here's how the German team line up today. Manuel Neuer starts in goal. Mats Hummels plays with Jerome Boateng in central defence. Tony Kroos starts with Sami Khedira in the middle. And here is just the one main attacker in this lineup. Always remember being here for the 2006 World Cup final and the incident, of course, with Zinedine Zidane sent off playing for France and Italy ending up with a trophy. Yes, sir. I don't think many inside the stadium actually saw the incident, but the fourth official did, and he famously or infamously had a part to play in Zidane sending off. Thomas Müller. It's a turnover of possession here. An opponent around him, that's good screening of the football. Deflected out for a throw. Ungolo Conte. They've got the ball back by that interception. Werner. Looking for Royce. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. And he gets ahead to it, but can only knock it out of play. I think any football fan will say... When the rain comes down, like it's coming down now, it's going to add to the thrills, a few spills, possibly. Well, it normally does, doesn't it? And I always used to like it, because uh, it quite often meant you got a few more chances in the box with the uh, bounce of the ball and what have you. Muller. Time here to strike a goal. It's in. It's a great start for them. A wonderful goal. And we'll now have to see whether that will change both managers approach to this game oh don't they look good when they fly in like that could easily have gone anywhere else in the stadium but it's gone where he wanted it to go that's for sure yeah that's the sign of a natural finish up that one touch finish it really was a beauty good for Germany they now lead some options now for the pass and here's Paul Popper took the shot on the odds were against him though can't believe he actually went for goal from that kind of angle to play well to intercept. Glad his luck! And it was close enough to think for a moment that they might have gone two in front. Yeah, I mean, it's not the easiest, but uh, it was a decent effort, not far away from the target at all. No nonsense defending from him. Olivier Giroud is offside.
Thomas Müller. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Togba. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. It's Kimmich. Marco Rose. Deflected behind, it will be a corner. Oh, here we go, Mexican wave. Crowd trying to entertain themselves. <laughs> Swung in by Kroos. Looking for the deep one, but that was far too deep. It'll be a throw. Accepted well. There's a target at the front post. Keeper not taking any chances, not wanting to catch that one. He's punched it away. Marco Ross. Thomas Müller. Here's the chance to get in the cross. It's not ripped. He's got his shot off now. Marco Ross is the marksman here. He's on target again for his team. Look at what happened earlier. Could the defender have done anything different, Alan? Well, maybe he's half turned away, and that didn't help. If he'd have closed it down a bit more bravely, it might have been better. him really to play the ball straight to the opposition and that'll be a throw Sammy Kadira on to Muller Royce could whip it in from here well it was considered controlled attacking play but it's come to nothing in the end Here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. Mbappe. Oh, time to get the cross now. That'll be a corner for France. Here we can see it again. Marco Royce's goal. Got to feel a bit sorry for the keeper there. He could do nothing about that deflection. Taken by Griezmann. Pop back! Good defensive clearance there. Rafael Varan. Marco Reus. Werner. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. On to Muller. Muller. That will be a corner. <laughs> corner from Tony Cross. A lot of players in the middle for the corner, of course, but it's bypassed them all. It's gone out for a throw. It's broken down, and they'll have to try again. Mbappe, Griezmann. Giroud. Julian Draxler. Werner. Marco Reus. Conte. Read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Muller. Here's 
the shot. All oh, credit to him for taking that shot on. And he connected well enough. Well, he has got a strong shot. We know that, but not his best effort. Thomas Müller. Werner. Defensive block there. No cross coming in. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Good width in the attack here. Looking for a cross at the end of it. Joshua Kimmich. Now, can he take them on? Well, the ball's gone past everyone in the penalty area and out away from danger. And now the shot! Well, that's easy. And uh, snapped up by Hugo Lloris. Well, it's not over yet because we've got four more minutes of added time to come. Gone for the ball. Hummels. Boateng. Sami Kadira. On to Muller. Shots on here. And that shot's blocked very quickly. And that's a goal for Germany. I think the goalkeeper's been caught out by Draxler. I think you're right. And he took it early too on his weaker side. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? An amazing first half in this game. Have a look at that scoreline. This has been a very one-sided first half. We didn't expect that, Alan. No, we didn't. And I don't think it should be when you look at the two sets of players, but uh, the team in the lead have taken the chances brilliantly. Well, we wait to see what the second half brings. The first half was conclusive, but you don't win the game at half-time. Giroud, maybe for France now. He's got his shot off now. I'll never be afraid to shoot, but he'll be hoping for better efforts than that. He's coming forward a little too eager to get in behind the opposition, caught offside. Mbappe. And he can clear it here. Pogba. Nice move to get away from the defender. France, a chance! Shot on! That was close and well hit too. Yeah, he really did get the laces behind it. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? 
I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him, good overall performance, actually. And they get it away. Griezmann. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Here's an opportunity. Mbappe. And here's the shot. Well, he hit it well enough. Yeah, maybe just a bit off balance there, actually. <laughs> Julian Draxler. Werner. Trying to get in behind just a little too eagerly then. He could give the defender a yard, you know, and still get there. Just fail to look across the line. Intercepted well. Pogba! He made a real mess of that chance. Didn't he just? I don't know if he took a bobble, but that was uh, the shocker. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Oh, well, that's good defending. Throw in now. Hector. And shoots! He's blocked that well. Tweedy. Free kick for France and no disputing. France are going to make a change now. I think he'd love to shoot, but he can't from this angle. Got to get a good ball into the box. Cleared away by the defender. Werner. Good to add. Werner. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Mbappe. Giroud. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. It's a good place to win the ball here. Read to play well to intercept got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. This could be it. In towards Gundogan. Out in front of goal. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Shots on here. Powerful drive. Close enough to suggest... Have another go, son. Yeah, strong shot. I think the keeper saw it coming all the way, though. And well, now we're going to have an alteration. Just to check on the weather for you. I was never in doubt the game, but certainly the players will be pleased that some of the puddles that looked as though they might be appearing have disappeared. Yeah, more of a drizzle, I think, after the downpour. But it will uh, have quickened up the pace of the ball across the surface when the rain really fell. Mbappe. Mbappe. Now he can cross it. Wants to get at him, and he's got past it. Keeper not taking any chances, not wanting to catch that one, he's punched it away.
He's aimed it in towards the front post. No nonsense defending from him. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. And the away team want to make a change. Free kick here for France. Substitution, and it's going to be France who are going to make it. There's some big lads in that box waiting for a cross. I'd be hoping not to be disappointed. Curled into the area. Cleared away, well away from goal. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. Bit of space for him, now out on the wing. Defended well. He's cut that out well, well read. Draxler. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Well, the goal, now it's offside. Looking at my watch, four minutes left. Fekir. Great ball. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Werner. Marco Royce. Goretzka. This could be a chance. And that will peter out that attack. It's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. Break here. The shot's on. Took the shot on. The odds were against him, though. Can't believe he actually went for goal from that kind of angle. Well, we're down to the last minute here. And it's Pogba. Conte. And shoots! And the goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. Well, that's brought to the end this international friendly fixture when I think only one of the two countries really turned up. Yeah, one really meant it and treated it as a serious match, and the other really, whether they were experimenting, trying different things out, whatever, it didn't really work. Well, I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Yeah, top-class performance. Really good goal, and his work ethic was second to none. No wonder his teammates are happy with him. Well, as for the star of the losing team, he was, of course, on the wrong end of the result. They do look at him for goals, and he didn't get anything today. A peripheral contribution, really, no more than that.